shut this down. Mine's good. Frozen, buffering, buffering, frozen. That's weird. I think it's uh, heat and humidity. Hi. Can you come back? Is it the same um, feed? I'm nope. still talking about the old feed. Part two, you gotta get out of there. <laughs> I don't know what happened. That was weird. Too much good advice, the devil got into it. You said <laughs> too much good advice. <laughs> Why don't we look? There I can go, yeah, up and down there. Oh, where's where are we at? Goodness. Yeah. Hey, hey, part two, hey. Part hey. two. Alright. It's so weird. Watching. I don't know what Hola. happened. Okay. Peralta, part two. Okay, Sorry. I don't know what part happened. Two, yes. That's so weird. Oh my gosh, give me a chance to dial up. What were we talking about? Uh -huh. We were oh, talking we were talking about, about um, the right question. I like. All right, somebody said, said that was Taylor's big nose hubby. <laughs> Told you, future to trouble. <laughs> um, yeah, somebody um, kind of like semi-corrected that. Yeah, not so much like what you make, but um, where do you work? Um, I went so far as at times when I used to date. Um, I called the job and, and say, um, "Hello, can I speak to so and so, for instance?" Um, just to see, because I didn't trust whether or not they worked, because I didn't think that they kind of were. And sure enough, um, I'm sorry, he doesn't work anymore. I'm like, really, how long is he not? Um, oh, he, he was let go, let go, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. That's what I suspected. So, um, but see, you t it's those kinds of things. You don't have to come out and, and ask, do you work? Um, were you fired? All that. It's just like a sense that you have. So you just simply pick up the phone. Hello, can I speak to so and so? Oh, I'm sorry, they can't come to the phone right now. They're busy. Um, can I ask who's calling? I'll have them, you know, call you back. They're on the register, whatever they're doing, you know. But you can find out a lot of things if you just kind of think and just get clever. And um, yeah, I thought a whole lot of lies and, and those kinds of um, tricks. It's so weird. I don't know why the thing like shut off, but oh, Domino Effect made it. Just spent 150 on the Diva Cut. Ooh. Domino Effect, we were on it, like, and then we just all shut down and then we all just came back. Yeah, we, we came back over here. You know, we're gonna start a new video. <laughs> oh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is on. Okay. So I wonder if it's gonna be like a marathon. And then, like, that's like the second one. Yes. Yeah, so then probably it'll run um, throughout the night. Yes, little red flags. Yeah. Oh, not cut. Diva Curl products. Okay. Which ones? After party. <laughs> Big old lady. After party's always better. go tell the people. I'm like, we started a new live. People are still talking in the other one. Are they? Yeah. Because it just looks like it was just shut down, right? Oh, it's Diva Products. She bought Diva Products. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, too much good advice. The whole thing shut down. Right? I ain't trying to have y'all hear this. I want y'all to have a husband. <laughs> <laughs> Marriages. Husband. Um, who watched Old Settler? I love that. And the guy's name was Husband. <laughs> husband. Love that. I gotta watch that old settler tonight. Um, the boy Note. Have you had any horror sto horror stories with dyeing your hair at home? Yes. That's how my natural hair journey began. Cause I got box dye and dyed my hair jet black, and it all fell out. So, and I went natural okay. from that point on. Foam was that bee? The bee leave the foam. The bee leave in no pool. Heaven. Uh, yes, if, if you came in late for part one, but you're here right now for part two, there are some seats in the front. You can sit in the front. <laughs> We're just glad that you're here, here. to fill the room. <laughs> we just want bodies now. <laughs> okay. Bleached all my hair ruined it a few years ago. Yeah, yeah we've all had the bleaching story. Yeah. Bleaches. We were having such a good conversation. It just shut us down. It's too much. You know, we were just like trying to Why navigate. Why are we so like blue? Um, oh, Before um, our coloring was like warmer. Why are we so blue? I, I don't know. I'm like blue. Foggy here. Um, <laughs> Jen loves to have a lot of time in the front row. No, I'll just take a <laughs> middle seat. 
I <laughs> sure I did. We can start the conversation. Yeah, so the, the, the conversation simply was about dating and the things to look for, like the red flags. Like, um, it's not just about whining and dining. It's like it's serious business. And um, gifts, overstuffed bears. <laughs> <laughs> gifts, a whole lot of gifts, just a lot of distraction, just wow. smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors. So, like, just get to weed way through all them gifts and great big checkers bears and, you know, all that. You got to weed your way through because under all them gifts lies the truth. And um, that's what we're trying to uncover to just get to the truth. And how do you find this truth? And I'm um, not saying that people, everybody can add something, I think, to the mix. Everybody can bring something to the table, regardless of your years of marriage, um, how many years you've been divorced, how many times. It doesn't matter. Everyone can bring something to the table in this relationship game. And we were just talking about how we just kind of like sort our way and uh, figure our way through. It's just not about what he wore. You know, where he took you. I know, in high school, I had a friend. She would only date guys um, that wore uh, Jordans. See, now like, that's insane. <laughs> that's absolutely ridiculous. If you what could a pair of Jordans do for me right now with my stolen car out the driveway? <laughs> Not a dog on thing. And it's no but he'd sense. be wearing Jordans. Yeah. And, so, and that's, the, that's juvenile. Silly thinking. <laughs> look in their eyes they are, oh my gosh yes if they can't look you in the eye they look every place out you know looking all around the room just, yeah I make direct eye and I don't want to lose that contact I would be straight in the eye like I, I but how do long it. do you stare at a person well you look and you just see they meet you I mean I nobody just say you just gay like crazy but you just <laughs> see they'll meet you um with an eye where you're telling something uh, Spencer you know serious Spencer he um, took a class one time about um Body, body language, language. he drove oh me crazy gosh. because you guys have known me enough you've seen it in videos you've seen it online like i don't know why i scratch my nose maybe i don't know he said that that means you're, you're lying i said spencer like oh, or he'll say something and then you, you'll cross your legs he's like you just crossed your legs you're uncomfortable with something i'm saying like <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh but he swears that this is you you getting ready to tell a lie i'm like spencer i do that con maybe it's a tick i don't know but i'm like he's like what i made you uncomfortable i, I couldn't when he did his body language class i could not I could not do that. Um, so, um, but there, I guess there are certain um, shifting of your body, certain like little languages um, that. Yeah, that, high school is super superficial. Like, super. Yeah, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> and this um, one time, we always quote this experience, depending on how far you go with it. I think it's like meant for fun. I always felt like they supervised nothing too serious. I had a whole lot of parties. Remember that time I went through a whole list of parties that you were not going to? Oh my through. gosh, yeah, I, really I, I tried to be social and you weren't having it. Well, I wanted you to be social, but it, it was not was You just got tired of driving me places. Yeah, it's just, just a, lot of, um, a lot of parties, just a lot of empty parties. And and I don't like those parties parent out the house. I just never did those things. Samantha like I said, Ivy, I can't. She's you're, just hilarious. You're one decision away from the jail. Um, um, <laughs> she's just so funny. Um, yeah, yeah, but I asked you like one too many times to drive. Then you were fake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were a fake person apparently. You had on fake sneakers. And I remember the girl like yelled it out the bus window. She was like, "Look at that person's sneakers." She said, "He got fake Nikes on." She was like, "If you got fake sneakers on, you a fake person." Well, isn't that funny? How like when you were in high school, like that really was embarrassing. If you would like shop at Payless, I'd be like, like take me to Payless right now. I'd be so happy to find some Payless sneakers. You know, like those kinds of things. It just, I always, I, I said to Adam a few years ago when he was in high school, and I'm like, just Adam, just give it a few more years. I said, I just watch the progression or the lack thereof of those same classmates. I said, what a difference, you know, getting out of high school and just to see how people's lives unfold. Mm -hmm. You know, the the so-called. Uh, big hero he still I still have people from my high school trying to live their glory days it's still so sad yeah. you know that's all they were known for just like running with the football down the field like you know you're 50 now okay that football been deflated okay and so I'm um, like what have you done lately people just kind of like get stuck on their glory days like stop Bruce Viction I wore beat up dirty converse now I just finally mm -hmm. broke my white ones in now they're kind of like off-white like Bobos. I just broke them in <laughs> I know they put, uh, yeah, I know, Bobos. Or I know, and my mother bought me um, um, bass, Weegeons, loafers, and they were called <laughs> Warlock shoes. <laughs> they really called them Warlock shoes. They were expensive bass loafers. And those kids convinced me, mind you, they were wearing China flats that were paper thin. Okay, my mother had, like, it was winter, Connecticut. Okay, snow was up to my forehead. And they were wearing 
thin china flats, but yet I had warlock shoes because my mother could afford some expensive leather bass loafers. But kids will really, when they can't have what you have, then they tear you down and they have you now. I'm like, I would go to school barefoot before I would wear those ugly warlock shoes. Okay? <laughs> you want a china flat? I want a china flats so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you you never let me go to the guy's house in high school. Dating was oh, always no. here in the living room yeah. that was dating. Or if we were going somewhere, you'd be driving, and um, that would be that. Like I think one time, yeah. I think my first date ever was a focus group with you. We went on a focus group, <laughs> and we got to sit in the waiting room, and I think we rode the elevator. <laughs> like, I always felt like you were judged by the company that you kept. It wasn't that I didn't trust you because I knew what I raised. It wasn't that I didn't trust the guy. I just think it was the, the appearance. Um, it, it, the Bible says even the appearance of sin, you know, you got to be careful of that. So I just didn't like the way it looked. A young, pretty girl dating a guy, you got to be like, at his apartment alone. Like, what does that say? And then they can lie and uh, things when the relationship goes south. And it's just not cool. So um, I just always just kind of like guarded your reputation before you were old enough to really want to guard it yourself, you know. Yeah. We told the story of Andre in, uh, in college when he was supposed to take me to dinner and, and instead he said he was going to take me back to his place and mm -hmm. cook for me and you turned it out. Those were not the options. You said that was not on the menu. I said your window of opportunity is now over. Where you're at, take 40 minutes to get back here and that's what I expect. Like he really pushed the envelope. He did. He told you he was taking me to dinner mm -hmm. and instead he decided he switched up and said he was going to cook dinner at his place mm -hmm. instead. He and was you just, you just happened to call and you were like, so where are you going to eat or whatever and um... I was like, oh, we're going back to his dorm, and you were, you were like, park that buggy, bit, turn it around, <laughs> and bring it, bring it right back. Yeah, he was just like, really bold. I mean, that was the one that came with that, um, and there's nothing wrong with it. Like, when you get comfortable with somebody, and you know them, and you know what they are capable of, um, but he showed up, who showed up on a first date to meet the parents, to pick the girl up with, um, like an undershirt like you know like showing all your muscles I wasn't impressed okay with that like I wanted like a, a button-down shirt cover even like polos like sleeves something respectful in my opinion old-fashioned okay and I was like look at them like basically and he was like basically you like what you see what because you were really? looking at him that hard like, like, really like and then my, my nervous squeak from the stairs like trying to laugh it off like oh I my said God. not at all. I said, what I'm doing is taking you in from the forehead down to the soles of your feet. I said, that way if my daughter doesn't show up and with every curl in her head, I'll know what to tell the police, what to look for. Okay, no, when I wasn't looking at you, do I like what I, like, really step, but you like what you see. All these years oh. later, you're still talking about him, though. Yeah. You must have liked a little something, something that she, you saw. I, I, because you're always going to be laughing like that, because you're like, Ma, you know, you had, I'm like, Ma, you know I, you thought he looked a little good. No, I, I swear, I'm, I'm not even like, I swear, like, we always go through this. That's we how do. you shut me up when we, we do this Because we'll be talking about some other guy, and you always bring up him, and I'm like, Ma, you thought he looked a little good. Like, <laughs> no, I thought it was a nut. I thought it was a nut. Straight from the nut house. From the nut house. Bold as brat. I just think maybe I just never saw anything that bold. That bold. Like, really stood up to me and asked, did I like what I saw? Like, really flipped the script on me. I was, like, speechless for once. Like, really? But then I caught, I found my speech real quick after that. I'm like, not at all. <laughs> I said, what I'm doing is taking you in. I said, that way my daughter doesn't show back up. Um, but, yep. No, he was well, I was that boy, right? <laughs> I really remember you were a married spud. You were a married spud. <laughs> I know, those soldiers. <laughs> Uniform. <laughs> Where did you find him, Taylor? We went to college together, and we... Like, I knew him from the campus, and then, like, we texted a lot, and he was totally different, like, in person, like, actually, like, going out with him and, like, him meeting, like, my mom and stuff than he was through text. Like, I know who that man was. He was somebody totally different that I was texting. I was just as shocked as everybody else was. He just really, um, didn't take direction. Like, he, he, didn't, he didn't listen to a word, seriously, that I said. I'd never experienced anything quite like that. So when I saw that it was going catfish, south. yeah, basically, I was so embarrassed. Yeah. Like, like basically, you were asking me, like, where did you find this man at that you thought basically was good enough to take you out and bring home? Like, I'm like, Ma, like, I swear yeah. this is not the person I was talking to. Like, I don't know who this person is. Like, so he zoomed up the driveway like the next day, and carefully, and he saw me in my car. Okay, and he rearranged the rearview mirror so I could see him seeing me, and he took a sweet time reaching over to the glove compartment, arranging clothes, fix it. I mean, seriously, taking his time. I'm just waiting for him to get out the car so I can, like, get a hold of him. Well, when he finally got out the car, I was, like, basically good. I'm, like, all around, like, opened my car door. He opened up his car door, closed it, 
went on to the back, opened up that door, took out like some sort of a plastic container with pasta salad or something in it, um, and calmly walked up the walkway at the door. And I'm like rushing, rushing by him. And I'm like, Taylor, this nut has got to go. I'm like, I'm like, I said, and so I said to him, you are not welcome to my home. He goes, I didn't come to see you. He goes, you can't like basically tell me anything. He said, only Taylor can tell me um, that I'm not welcome to her. He said, I'm her guest. Like he seriously like brushed on by me on into the house. Didn't care. And, and, and I'm like, Taylor? And so she was like, yeah. Basically like, like, what now? Yeah. What? <laughs> and I'm like, you better get that stick. I said, this is, and I won't give the name, but it was somebody in the family that, that, was a troublemaker. We should have got rid of him when he first drove up, but nobody did. We My didn't gosh, see it. Yeah. So I said, Taylor, if you don't get rid of this problem right now, we are going to have another one of these on our hands. That person came in and split the, pan the family asunder. I never saw anything like it. I said, this is another one in the making. This guy has got to go. And so, um, but nothing... said, like Taylor owned the house. It's just too much. <laughs> like, right? But um, it, it was like that series where, and then like, like when he left, like he just sat at the like the end of the street, and he like yeah. texted me. He was like, "Don't make the mistake of not being with me or whatever." Yeah. Like, and then you saw him months later. Yep. At a, I was out at a club with my friends, and I was sitting, and next thing I know, he just like swooped down on me, and I'm like looking up, and then it took me a second to like figure out who I was looking at and the first thing he said was so how's your mom and the way he said it was so creepy like I'm thinking I'm like she was fine when I left the house yeah. like what did you do like, to her? What a thing like, to say it was like, like a respectful thing like people always make small conversation and they always say how's your mom how's your dad whatever but it wasn't like that it was like creepy like, yeah, like so how's your mom? not even, not even hi me. how are you he's like so how's your mom yeah like, fine it was weird like, it was he was a weirdo yeah he was a big red flag, yes. Major, like, humongous red so flag. So arrogant, <laughs> like, what you see? <laughs> like, what you see, like... Big red flag. Huge. But I must tell you that the shirt he was wearing was fashionable. They do have, <laughs> they do have, it wasn't like a white wife beater top. It was like, like a design tank top. Guys, wear those. In the summertime, they wear them with, like, the cargo. If I told you exactly, because I know descriptions, you're going to be like, Ma, you took that whole thing, and I could tell you verbatim what he had on, the color and everything, but you're going to be like, must see Why do you know? remember that? Because I remember detail. I told you for the for the police lineup. All right, I'm not even going to tell you guys because you're just going to make fun of me all night, and I can't. <laughs> That's a Lifetime movie in the making. <laughs> My mother texted the, the daughter's boyfriend. Yeah. yeah, no, no. No, but the next date I went on with the guy that I actually like ended up like dating for a long time. He came like the first day we went on. He had like a button up on and like nice pants and you were like, nah, that's how you dress for a date, basically, <laughs> not all the whatever else. The the but tank it was superficial because there was other issues. Just because you had on the right clothing, there's more but to But I didn't say all that. I was just <laughs> saying. I'm just saying that's not the only criteria. That's just that you come just, on a date and you dress nice. Yeah, the foot your foot's in the door. The nice uh, uh, attire. He was one step ahead, but he wasn't that much further ahead. Just one step. That was you. Just one step. Just just one step. Just one step. Yeah, but that was it. That yeah, was the it. The wardrobe doesn't okay. win right. war. All right. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of criteria here at the work oh. Through. oh, okay. She just deleted the question. I'm gonna answer it. What was the question? <laughs> Zoe the Aquarius asked, "How do I feel about long distance relationships?" She tried it and um, she couldn't do it. I prefer it actually. Hmm. -hmm. I know. See, I can't imagine speaking to. I couldn't imagine somebody speaking to me that way either. I feel like you can make it work if you want to. Long distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just like find another way, maybe of communicating and, and, and spending time. I mean, there's so um, many things. There's FaceTime now. Like, I mean, I know it's not the same as seeing the per the person face to face, but you can make it work if you want to. Taylor, Ann, will you ever straighten your hair? Oh, um, maybe. I'll say, I'm not going to say I'll never straighten my hair again, but not at the moment. Yeah. It's not a, like, it's not a huge commitment, but I'm just, I'm just a, a feared, like, damage. I don't mm -hmm. think I've ever been straight. Well, when I big chopped, remember, you had to stop me from Oh, that yeah, you were frying your hair. <laughs> yeah. I really, I don't do this and spin there, don't I? Yeah, it's not for everybody. You have yeah. to, you have to want to do it and want to make it work. Yeah, see, the third I do is that's one thing I missed about being away at school. I wish I had my parents to monitor some of these pools. Yeah, sometimes it takes the wisdom of parents. And as long as the child is receptive to that, and it's, it's, I think it's in the raising, I think you can't take um, a grown 18 or 19 year old and think you're going to start like pounding in wisdom and knowledge. You have had to establish that relationship from the cradle on up, that respect. 
um, because they say when you listen to them when they're younger, then they listen to you when, when they're older. So we always had this, this open door policy. Nothing, no topic was ever off um, the table. And so therefore, when you were older, then you could come to me with things. And um, but you can't start laying down the law when they never listened to you to begin with. Mm -hmm. Uh, what porosity? We did the porosity test on our last live. Yep. Yep. You yanked out some hair and put it in some I water. Did. What did we discover? Yours? Oops. Some was high, some was low. The bleach sunk, right? The bleach parts the sunk. The bleach parts sunk. The other parts no. stayed on top or did they float? Yeah, no, the brown parts of our head floated. The bleach sunk. Okay. All right, we're going to be wrapping this up. I'm sick of these gnats. I know, I they're can't. everywhere. And don't let me get bit tonight because I am not having it. I don't know. I, this is just like that annoying time of year. And like, don't wear lip gloss like I am. Like they keep, I feel like they keep getting stuck. Yeah, I wish I had a tissue. Okay, no, I just... Uh, All right. I can't. Oh, Miss SET, that's right. She's been... How was your day? <laughs> Tell us all about her, all of us stateless people. And they had dates in the States. Um, their first date was in Georgia, and the next one was at a cruise. It was interesting. One couple had a long. Oh. Long... Huh. Um, children think parents are born life size. <laughs> yeah. No, we know, we know, because we we lived it. I mean, you can't stop them from learning their things. I had to learn some of these lessons, so I don't want to stop you from learning them because experience is the best teacher. So some of this stuff you have to experience, but it's not that I want you to like to prevent you from hmm. the experience, but um, I'm done with experiences. Like I'm 25. I don't. I mean, I like like I know you're never done with experiences, but like I'm not really trying to waste my time. Like, yeah. You know, what I feel like it's like a, a waste of time. Like, like you know, I I can't predict the future, but this is just signs. I'm I've been on this earth long enough to know this this is not this is a big waste of time here. You could talk to your blue in the face, and you're not going to be able to tell him too much of anything. No. So you might as well cut your losses now and um, move on. Basically. Okay, he's, pra he's practicing. Oh, that may be a story for all the I try to do a little song, 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 Miss SET, you know. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to my neck. Let it show. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be 25. Be a woman. <laughs> you can be adulting. A woman. Is this an adulting outfit? An adulting, right? <laughs> I know. I don't even have a birthday outfit. I told my mom, I was like, I want to wear yellow, and I don't have anything yellow. Right. Like, I really envision like a two-piece, like you know, a skirt and like a top, like you know, those sets. And I really want it to be yellow, and I just want like golden highlighter, and I don't know where I'm going in that outfit, but that's just how I envision my 25th birthday outfit. Right. But, well, the malls are open, stores are open, girl. I don't know where to get one. A yellow outfit? Yellow outfit. It's that time of year. I'm sure yellow's everywhere. We can go find a yellow outfit? Of course we can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, hair question. Do you pre-poo? I don't. Do you, Tay? Uh, I pre um, I pre pooed like once. Pre-pooing is okay. No, I pre poo twice, actually. I try to pre poo at least once a month and, like, clarify. Um, but I don't pre poo every single time. I don't do that. Yeah, uh, all right, so Chloe Fit, she said, I prefer phone conversations. If you can even get one these days, like, Samantha, I, I have nowhere to go. I don't go, I don't go people out. People text, and they don't even hear people's voices. Oh my God, it's bats um, and belfry. Right. You wouldn't recognize somebody who came to the door because you've never heard their voice. And I'm like, I've never heard of that. Oh, yeah, How? you were you were talking about that. I was that. appalled by that, that you had never heard the person's voice. And it's well, I heard just them in person. I met them in person. It was just unheard of to me that all people do nowadays is text. Okay, I can see texting as a convenience, but as it, as like that's all that people do, so they don't even know how to have a decent conversation, um, because people so much are so emboldened behind text. Though people say when they meet me, I sound just like my text. I don't switch up. I it, I am who I am. I'm in person the same way I am in text. I don't, I'm not like cowardly and say more on my text than I do in person. I'll say exactly, I hate anonymity. So when somebody wants to have me say something and then you don't have to sign your name, so I want to sign, I want to take credit for everything I say. So I don't like anonymity, you know, you do this, drop this here, you have to put your name on it. I want to put my name on it. Um, but a lot of people love that, they get very bold. And so I think that's why people like texting and um, I don't like that. That's another option for communication, but not the only 
way to communicate. And I think that's where folks is going wrong these days. So everybody's just texting, texting, texting. Nobody's picking up the phone like I did a few weeks ago. Hello, is Taylor home? Hold on, Taylor. Who's who's his big nose on the phone? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> his big nose boy called for you. You know you have to see. Did he pick up? Did Remember when we were in high school, <laughs> or like it was like no, it was high school. When, but we actually had like the phones and mm -hmm. people had to call in. And I remember one time, like me and Spencer, like wouldn't stop acting up. And um, I think I was waiting for a phone call, or whatever. And you were like, if you don't stop, you're like, when the call comes, I'm gonna tell him I put you down for some naps. Like, <laughs> I know. Yeah, you're I like, know. If you don't stop, you're like, when that boy calls, I'm gonna tell him I put you down for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, you have to hear. Do they know how to address people? You know, yeah, Taylor there. Click. <laughs> like, you don't know, call somebody's house and say, yeah, Taylor there. You're like, hello, is this Mrs. Wesley? You know, that, hello, Lori. Well, I hope Lori, are you kidding? Like that. Well, Can you give him a deeper respect. voice? Okay. Hello, is this Mrs. Wesley? Yeah, this is Mrs. Wesley. You go, hello, Mrs. Lori. Don't call me Lori. Don't call her Lori. Don't call me Lori, okay. Don't um, do that. Okay, Mrs. Wesley, let's start all over again. Hello, Mrs. Wesley, can I speak with Taylor, please? Oh, sure, who is this? You know, tell me your name, no mumbling, speak articulately. It's like, do you know how to, like, handle a phone? Can you handle a phone other than just, like, texting? You know, and so that's that's the first task. That was just simplistic when, like, I was growing up. People, that's how you communicated. You called the house. But nowadays, everybody texts. I, I wouldn't know some of these people I fell over them on the street. Because <laughs> well, everybody's just texting. Fall over them on the street. Everybody texts. Everybody texts. Everybody texts. There's dates through text. People can pick up the phone and respectfully ask for a date. Everybody just makes arrangements through text. It's just so odd to me. Um, you text all the time, right? Yeah, text. <laughs> Exactly. Can they even hold a substantial conversation over the phone? A third eye during. No one's calling me money bags. No, I mean, not money bags, Miss SCT. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, no, no one's calling me. I'm not being called at the moment. I'm not crazy about texting. No. It's good in its place. It's convenient, mm -hmm. but not as the sole way of communicating. I talk way too much anyway to text, and just don't do a whole lot of crazy abbreviations. I just don't like um, when you can say. Um, I'm going to the store and putting the letter two. Like, what is one more letter? T O. Just two. You know, I hate all that crazy texting talk. Um, can you hold a, like a decent conversation? I don't like that. Lynn Lee, like, she says what she asked to ask me for a makeup tutorial. Like, I do makeup okay. I do makeup for our YouTube videos. Um, but like, I'm not like an artist or whatever. Although, check out my makeup in the new We Dad video comment. I did it in turquoise and it came out so good. I'm so excited. But, um. <laughs> You yeah. actually sit and do like a makeup tutorial, like those didn't really take off on our channel. Our makeup Mondays, makeup tutorials. Yeah, we I do. like doing them and matching them like with our our videos, but yeah, let's throw everything at the wall to see what would stick. Yeah, hey, yeah, you can't tell someone's tone through text. Yeah, I was just um, talking to someone the other day, and I guess he was being sarcastic, and I it totally went over my head because. Um, you have to be able to text sarcasm. Yeah. And if you don't know how to text sarcasm, it can come off really, you just don't know. I'm like, are they serious? Like, you know, when you don't mean something, you want it to be a joke, you have to put the laughing faces, exclamation points, capital. I mean, texting is like an art form, a kind of. And so that's why people always say you sound exactly like you you sound in, in person. Um, but if you don't, and you just say something so I insulting. We those. And there's Wi Fi Adam. If now, you, you can, say. You can have sarcasm in a text, it depends on the way you word it. Okay, so like, oh, for, for example, like what? So Wi-Fi Adam has come in with some knowledge here. He's dropping some knowledge. Okay. Well, give me an example. All right, so how would you be sarcastic? How do you express that in the text? It depends on the context. Maybe you want to add, like, extra letters and stuff to words to make it seem sarcastic, right? No. I'd say something like, yep, yep, definitely. Something like so that. say right now, if I say, Adam, are you going to the beach? Like, you know, darn well, you're not going to the beach. I'd be like, yep, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yep, mm -hmm. Totally. So you would add like the mm-hmm to like totally, <laughs> that would be like the extra sarcasm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you have to add, add you have to say yeah, yep, because nobody would get the sarcasm in that. You have to add those extra words to see the sarcasm in that. Or maybe like the eye roll, like like really, you really think at almost midnight I'm going to the beach. You've got to express that sarcasm. And some people just don't know how to text. And so it, that's where there's a lot of misunderstandings through text. I like people who can text in memes. I love a good meme. Memes are funny. Memes are hilarious. <laughs> but apparently, uh, they're banning them in the UK or something. 
Yeah. Who's we'll showing me funny names today uh, with Cardi B? And, um, Has anyone and, seen the, the Cardi B, like, not her baby picture. I would say she was probably, what, like, five or six or seven, maybe? And that, her hands on her hips and, like, all the memes going around. There was one I posted on my Instagram. It was just so funny because it was so you. It was like Cardi B standing with her hand on her hip. And she was like, my mom said you can't spin in the night because there's not enough food here for you. <laughs> and I swear that's why my friends couldn't spin the night. It's because you'd be like, no, we got to feed all these people. Basically, when your friends get hungry, they got to go. If you get hungry, your friends got to go. Like, we're not feeding all these people. Not spinning in the night because we're not feeding all these people. Yeah, I, I never had that open no door food. policy at all. Um, just, just like well, Some people just are just like... They just love that. Lots of people over and always like food all around. Like it just, I don't know, maybe it's because the way I grew up, my mother was a single mother. And so I just never got into that whole mentality of open refrigerator, open door, um, plenty of food. Um, and y'all know I'm not a foodie. So it was just like never like this open food policy thing. It's just like dinner time. Okay, Taylor, your old friends can go on home now. Like I'm out here feeding the neighborhood. <laughs> I was just like not that type of person. Yeah, I'm like, um, you know, can so-and-so spend the night? You're like, no, basically you don't have don't dinner for them. Put me on, on the, the spot. spot. Oh my gosh. Can so-and-so stay for dinner with so-and-so standing right here? Like, Yeah, or when their mother gets there to pick them up, like be waiting by the door with your jacket on, ready to go. Do not wait for the mother to come in and ask how I'm doing. Oh, I'm doing good. Okay, all right, all right. Come on, I'm Danielle, your mother's here. And then you and Danielle start that hiding, running silly, hiding under the beds. All that's time to go. Her mother's here. Mom, it's time to go. Please don't clap. All right. It's too late to clap. So all that silly little chain. You know, Danielle, where are you? Like playing all those games. Like your mother's here. So I would get them straight before their mother got there. Like, okay, Danielle, your mother's actually just pulled up in the driveway. Get your backpack. Don't forget your sneakers. Don't forget this. Don't forget your Barbie doll. Okay, don't start any of this, like, silly running and hiding, acting like you didn't hear the doorbell ring. Your mother's here. So with the doorbell ding, dog, Danielle, come on, honey. Your mother's here. All right, none of this, like, letting the mother come in so that she can start the game. Like, can we spend the night? Like, no. Like, be ready when your mother comes, Okay. <laughs> I hated that putting me on spot like that. I can't. I can't. I'm crying. Okay, all right, you know how kids do. I'm they, having, like, they start all that running and hiding, all that PTSD. Like this can is Can you so find real. me? Can you find me? Where are we hiding? Like, I am not playing those games. Like, you know, you <laughs> all afternoon. You must got all those free babysitting. It's time to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you were meant to be in front of the camera. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Never too late for clapping. That's just get the point across. You, you gotta be clap. a comedian. Like, right. I can't. Yeah, because you remember you used to do that kind of stuff. You know, like, yeah. I just couldn't. Don't just don't put me on the spot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just heard your mother pull up right. Well, then I knew at my friend's house not to perform either. I would be waiting by the door. Basically, yeah, like like be sitting in the window waiting for your mother's car. You know what your mother's car looked like. So the moment like you see it turn the no, corner. but like say I went to Danielle's house. Like I didn't, we didn't, you didn't let me play them games either. Basically, mm -hmm. like you when would, I come to get you, don't start because like we don't do that in our house. So don't let her, don't let them spirits transfer and act all like that silliness. Guys. It was good to Bye. hear from you. It was like, good to see you. Bye. Good to see you. <laughs> you know you were in the room. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. Right, the with all of their belongings, right? <laughs> yeah, but if you were over at their house, you knew how to act because you were well um, schooled the night before. You can go over to Danielle's. This is called a treat. Y'all know what a treat is, okay? So we're going to give this a try. You can go over to Danielle's. When I come to pick you up, I want you ready. I want your shoes on. You know how to tell time. I'll be there at 5 o'clock. Shoes on, tied. Pants on, don't be playing house all afternoon. When I get there, you're still wearing a long dress with an apron, okay? You had all afternoon to wear the long dress and the apron. Have that apron and dress off. Have your school clothes back on, your sneakers, your backpack, all your things, your homework cleaned up, everything in the backpack. And I basically have to toot, toot the horn and you come running out. Period. That's it. Okay, I'm not going to come into all the games. Start. Can we show you what we cooked? Y'all didn't cook a dog on thing this happened. We play food. Okay, I'm sure you had fun, but like I'm ready to go. All right, so I had to cover all the bases because I had three kids. Like, you know the games that kids play. I was a kid once too. So you have to, you have to beat them to the, the games. The little veto games. <laughs> save, you, save yourself from getting a whipping. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say when I was a little girl. Um, I always used to beg. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> every time you said I could go and to said, like a crap store, and you're like, and you'll want something. Like, <laughs> Those would be for my save days. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm like, everywhere we go, so we could go into a you know what store. I said, and you'll find something. <laughs> and um, so one day I put all that pressure on you because we had a car load of kids, and I took them to the mall, and you got down there, 
and you start that begging and basically I put it all on you I'm like the kids were like like having fun and I'm like we're all gonna have to leave because Taylor did not follow the rules and all the way home they were basically like Taylor why did you live like they gave you like heck all the way back home but we had just literally gotten there like an hour away from the house and I gathered them all yep. up we got into the store and I was like oh I like this or I said something like oh I want this or that, and you basically ah, like and you put us all back in the car we yeah. literally just stepped foot in the mall yeah we hadn't even been there five minutes and, and um, every time we went out you bed you <laughs> wanted something you always found something <laughs> and it, it just got on my nerves and that day I just had it and there was lessons to be learned here and so everybody um, had to it was at their expense that this lesson had to be learned and I gathered them all up and um, I, think I, got, I think I got a spanking oh yeah you did after so that. I had to take the ride home knowing <laughs> that once you finish dropping off all the kids that I was getting a spanking yeah because when I said because like you had gotten enough things you were hardly deprived as a child but enough's enough. Like, every, like, I didn't want the habit of every time you go someplace that kids feel like they have to get something to have fun. You can go places and have fun, and you don't have to always spend money. And so I was trying to, like, instill that lesson, but you didn't seem to want to catch that lesson. And so that that was the day of learning that lesson. I was sick of that begging. And, um, lessons to be learned. Whatever. I don't know. You still go places and have some stuff. <laughs> but I buy my own thing. You do. Yeah, we buy each other stuff now. We always buy something. You probably got it from me. <laughs> you didn't know it at the time. <laughs> I thought asking to have people over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we don't play, right? Yeah, my mom would have them ready 10 to 20 minutes in the living room, sitting close to the door before their mom came to get them. <laughs> And you always like people's things other than your like your own things. You were never happy with your own things. So you had a friend that had these twist over <laughs> shoes, okay? Um, they were just nondescript like patent leathers, okay? Were they the ones with the heel? Scruffy, and um, you always wanted them. You always hinted heavily for them. Every time I came over, you were modeling it, and I'm like, take the shoes off. It's time to go. Um, you know, I think yeah, they're very cute. I've seen patent leathers before. Take them off, and we're getting ready to go, okay? Well, one day you showed up home with the patent leathers. They were given to you. Okay, like like the family actually like gave the poor little girl, the poor little black girl, the, the, the shoes. I was livid because I'm like, Taylor, how did you get those shoes? I told you about those twist over shoes. You had a beautiful pair of patent leathers, you know, all colors, shiny, no scrapes. You know, these are big, clunky, big, thick, ugly buckles. They're horrible. You had like stride right. She had the top of the line patent leather shoes. Nope. Wanted the, the neighbor's shoes. Came home, clap, 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 clap. I'm like, what do you have on your feet? With shorts, with shorts and socks. The neighbor's patent leather, scruffed up patent leather shoes. I was serious. I couldn't believe it. I was like, they gave them to me. Why did they give them to you? You didn't need them. Why did they give them to you? All right, I was like, just look. Because they, they, they knew that my other ones were getting too small. No, they weren't. Cause you just got them for Easter. Okay, oh it was like God. two weeks later. They were hardly small. So you went over there and told the neighbors that your shoes, your toes were hurting. <laughs> so they gave you their shoes. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay. She had to say the poor little black girl because my friend was white. So, like, they just... They gave me the shoes, and that's just how it looked to you, the yeah. poor little black girl. Like, I was like, I just, I just couldn't with you, all right? <laughs> you were because yours were so much better. They were nice. They were like from stride, right? You know. And I was just like, so like proud of the shoes. They were nice quality <laughs> shoes. Nope, she wanted um the fake shoes from, from the fake girl. Okay, and they were scruffy. You know, like the, the leather was peeling. Okay, not. I remember those shoes. I love those shoes because mm -hmm. I think because they. The, I think because they had a heel on them, they had this clunky heel. And you probably had age appropriate, like um, rubber, yeah. um, like right, like the right heel for a patent leather. Like why do you gonna, like wear high heel patent leathers? Like you're you're a child, so a patent leather should look like a child's patent leather. And you want the ones with the heel, the clunky heel, clump 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 clump. And when I heard it, I said, No, I know she didn't have them <laughs> shoes on. It, it, it must be a mistake. Maybe the rubber came off of hers, and maybe maybe now it's just a wood. I like I don't know, but nope. I turned around. There she was in shorts and pet leathers. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. Oh, okay. We have a first time Emily Hasling. Hi. <laughs> My mom's embarrassing me right now, <laughs> telling all my old stories. Did I make you give them back, or because I didn't want to? Because it, I know they did it from their heart. It was something like a nice gesture. It was our issue. It was something that I told you I didn't want you doing. So you, it was a disciplinarian 
issue. They probably, the little girl probably outgrew them. The mother saw the need, though there was no need, but you invented a need. So I didn't want to be like disrespectful for the for the gesture, but uh, I probably took them. You probably weren't allowed to wear them. That sounds yeah. right, right? Yeah, that probably was it. So she just tortured, just probably dangled them from the, um, the rear view mirror. <laughs> no, but no, it's just, um, so yeah, I didn't take them back to the family because it was like it was a deeper issue than that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hurt them. I just wanted the yeah. shoes. Yeah, you did because you like it was that, it's that mentality of always wanting something of somebody else's. Yeah, no matter how much of a value. But sometimes you'll just like, okay, I wear that. And I'm like, hey, I'll never be able to get this again. This means so much. But you're like, I know, I'll take care of it. Like and like, I could, I wouldn't risk that. If somebody told me that something had this much value, it was priceless, it was limited edition. They'll never be able to get it again. Um, I'm just like, oh, okay, I didn't know it was like that. I just thought it was something I could always easily replace if I lost it. But they're like, oh, no, I got this like five years ago. It was limited edition. They don't make them any more than, I don't want that responsibility, not this one. Just like, okay, all right, no, I'll be careful. Yeah, like, like careful. nothing will, will stop you from like, if something that you want, you're like, you're like, okay, I'll be careful. But you can't like judge what will happen in the future. It's just like a risk you're taking. And I'm, I'm not just really, I don't, I'm not a risk taker like that. YOLO. Yeah, you do have a YOLO. <laughs> and I don't. Uh, good laugh, y'all. Good laugh. Good times, good times. Yeah, so what happened to the shoes you wore to the house? Don't Probably kicked under the bed or something. So busy wanting those patent leathers. So, um, but like after school, you probably had like uh, good sneakers on or something. So you probably had to go back and get those decent school shoes for those dressy patent leathers, peeled leather. High heel. <laughs> Peeled leather. Okay. They were scruffy in the front. <laughs> you were determined to have them because it was something of somebody else's. Yeah. Remember the time you came home with the pajamas? No. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you went to a slumber party, came over, and then you said the girl gave you the pajamas, but I suspected otherwise. No. Yeah. All right. Remember, was her, was her name Olivia? Nope. All right, um, it was. I, I'm getting close. All right, you came <laughs> up, and I, I know the time when you came up with the Barbie shoes and how I handled that. The pajamas you came up with a full fledged set of pajamas, and people don't oh, give the, away pajamas at pajama parties. <laughs> the silk pajamas. The silk pajamas, <laughs> because like she had um, the Carter's, you know, cotton um, the nightgowns or like the flammable, you know, the kids. But she wanted these silks to slide all over the sheets. <laughs> it just wasn't reasonable for a child to have silk pajamas. But her friend had them, and you wanted them so bad. And they they mysteriously appeared in your um, overnight bag. And I'm like, Taylor, where did these pajamas come from? Because you had talked about them like the week before about these pajamas. And all of a sudden, they ended up in your bag. And so how did I handle that at that point? I remember those pajamas coming home. They certainly weren't gifted. <laughs> I don't remember, but I know I got in trouble. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you, you definitely did. I don't know if you were allowed to keep them, but you had to be careful because always like the neighborhoods we grew up in, uh, or you grew up in, were always white neighborhoods, and we were the the black family. So I had to be so careful with like with your reputation and and, and, and the ramifications of that. So I don't remember the I remember the pajamas coming back home. I don't remember how that was handled. I do remember the Barbie shoes though where you loved these Barbie shoes. You know, Barbie clothes are always so cute. And <laughs> Bull Slab went shopping. <laughs> Not one of my prouder moments. So you I'm came sure. home and your Barbie went from, as you called it, feet to having a full-fledged pair of high heels now. And they were like blood red high heels. I mean, typical Barbie shoes, very, very cute, but I didn't buy them. And so Barbie was walking long legs, you know, <laughs> Barbie legs walk. And I'm like, Taylor, what? Because I like always knew what I bought my kids, always knew what they had. And so I said, where did Barbie get those shoes at? And I'm mean, the look on your face, like the quick look of guilt across the face. You know, oh, my friend, uh, let me borrow them, whatever. It, it was, it, I saw a mother knows, just that quick look of guilt. So I said, did she? I said, how? I said, what did you give her for them? Mm -hmm. Right there, I already knew. Because kids can't lie, you know, like kids really can't. And so I said, Taylor, did you take those shoes? And so um, she was like, mm -hmm. and so I'm like, I need to know the truth. I said, because they're gonna have to go back and we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna get them back. I couldn't just like go to the door and say that my daughter spent the night over your house and, and, and she stole from your daughter. It's horrible, but I had to, she couldn't keep them. She couldn't be rewarded with these shoes. They had to go back. And so, um, what we did was I said, get in the car, and I said, when we get to the house, I'm going to tell the mother that like you lost 
um, like your Barbie outfit or something, I said, and you have two seconds to get your tail up those stairs and put those <laughs> shoes back where you got them. Take them off that Barbie. I said, and you go upstairs. I said, and just put them right back where you got them and then come on downstairs. And then when the mother said, did you find it? I said, no, I didn't look. But if you ever come across, you know, just, just give it back to me. And that's what we did. But I could not go to that house and say, my daughter stole your daughter's Barbie shoes because she would never be invited back. You know, like a little black child going over to the little white girl's house, steal it. Like, it's horrible. And I didn't want that set up. So just we, tell well, all my childhood flaws. Yeah, I just give them, I took um, the Barbie yeah, shoes. You did. Yeah. So, but, there's, there's le but it's lessons. It's like all kids, not well, all, not all, but kids do these things. It's what it's childhood. It's part of childhood, and they have to be navigated very carefully. And so, um, I always called myself navigating. That's what parents do. They navigate. So we navigated. Went to the door. Ring the doorbell. Hi, Mrs. So-and-so. I think Taylor said that she left her Barbie shoes here. Can she just run upstairs really quick to see if she could find them? I said, those are her favorite. So she goes, oh, sure. Go right up upstairs. Taylor, you ran upstairs. And I said, you know what you have to do? Put them Barbie shoes back. And so she did. She put them back in the Barbie box and came on back downstairs. And um, you know, you were not going to be rewarded with those shoes. Are you making noise down there? Um, yes, I think I am. OK, just, just, just please don't make noise. <laughs> OK. It makes me very shoe. nervous. My shoes. <laughs> Yeah. So. Thank you, the fatty jeans. <laughs> Just okay. exposing yeah. all my business. Oh, that's it worth or, Yeah, mom's gonna tell her. Yeah. Yeah, we all did. We all were kids at one time. I know the first one never ended. Um, something happened, Angela. We don't know. We had to. Um... Yeah, it just froze, and so we just started another one. <laughs> Didn't say on a mission. Live and learn. Yep, you said you said get up the stairs, put them back, <laughs> and come back downstairs. Sliding out silk pajamas, uh, a, a five-year-old in silk pajamas, grown. I know, but <laughs> why wouldn't you buy me silk pajamas? But but when I went to college, I bought silk sheets and silk pajamas because like it was the thing I've always I, I always wanted. I don't know why it took me to college. Got jet black. I got jet black silk sheets. Silk pillowcases, <laughs> silk everything. I'd be scared to death to sleep on them. And I was sliding all over my college dorm bed. Like, I was why so black? excited. It just looked so demonic. Like, I'm like, why jet know. black? Everything just know. like jet black. Like, you're going to paint the walls black? Like, like, it was just such a college thing to do. And I had um, a cheetah comforter, like, an, <laughs> or a zebra comforter. Horrible. So it was like silk and, um, and yeah, it was like silk sheets, <laughs> silk pillowcases, and I had like a cheetah comforter. I want to keep saying cheetah. Zebra, everything was black and white, but I was so excited. <laughs> but I love silk. I love all the sliding. You do. I love you silk. Totally do. <laughs> I couldn't rest. I just slid all over the place. <laughs> I still have my silk now. That's on my hair. You know, it was before even people were laying on silk. I was already there. I was way ahead of everybody with <laughs> I know, right? sleep on silk and satin and everything else. <laughs> I know. I like your speaker. Is it a phone or is it my? Wait, what? 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 Wait, I hear. Oh, maybe it's my headphones. Oh, okay. Oh. Just don't hear noises. Okay. Yeah. How does my headphones speak? Let me see. I have a. Turn the volume now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sweat my hair do out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I loved my silk. I was very excited. You did. You, had, you always had um, exotic taste. I was just always probably just from another generation. It's simply as simple as that. I'm just old school. And you just are a little bit more of a risque. Yeah. But no, yeah. you never bought me silk anything. No, I definitely didn't. It's always felt like kids should stay as kids. Why am I going to give a five-year-old silk You bought me like sheets, Powerpuff silk. Girls cotton pajamas. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be a child. Or like the bottoms had like all the little bubbles on them, and then like the shirt is always like white with like the big bubble on, bubbles Powerpuff Girl on it. Or that's how like the cartoon pajamas were like the bottoms had like a little a, a million little of the cartoon, and the top was always like the big cartoon. And yeah. I had a million of those. <laughs> I was the coolest person at the sleepovers. Well, everybody else, it, I remember those pajamas. Now that I mentioned, they were, they were um. Emerald green. Yes, they were. They were emerald green, were emerald silk, green. and they were like the silk. Um, they were like a pajama set, so it was like the long sleeve they top with the absolutely buttons. Absolutely were. And they were they were like the green pants. Yeah. Now, with the, how do we handle that? How do they get home, and how do we get them back? Did we do? I don't know the same thing. Like, no, because they were too big. There's no way you could return pajamas like that. 
I don't know. I don't remember. But the, the, those definitely were them. They were, yes, emerald green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you always just came home with extra things that you went Okay, don't say I with. always did. I oh, had two episodes. Always. Okay, I was right. younger. Okay. I'll say always. Like, I'm just like a thief. Okay, now, <laughs> now I'm a thief that eats hair and food. Like, just... What else do you have to say about me up here? <laughs> that can't pick a man. <laughs> I bring home crazy men. I eat hair with hair in it. And now I'm a thief. <laughs> Why do you eat chalk with powder donut powder around my mouth? And you eat chalk. <laughs> I'm a two of a kind. <laughs> it's not cheaper. Okay, so Samantha Ivy say the roll call. It's 12.01. Oh, what it is? It's 12.01. <laughs> okay. All right, who started the parade? Who's, okay, we're starting our good nights. Here's how roll call goes. Y'all <laughs> say good night. We say good night. You sign out. Okay. There's 92 people in the room. Okay. It's about that time. There's a lot of new people, too, though, right? So we want to welcome all the new people because I see a lot yeah, of Yeah, so names. for the 92 people in the room, if you haven't had your chance to just say hi, just type to us I'm really quick. I'm saying something like, quick, like, my way said hello. Um... <laughs> All right, I'm just. I haven't seen that name before. I've seen it throughout the night. The so Taylor oh. Tales are the best. <laughs> Taylor Tales. Oh my god. Trust gosh. me, I will be shut down next week. There, there won't be. Too be no, it's like, not gonna mom, be about me next week. It won't be. I'm like, mom, you basically made me out to be a thief tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hear about this later. Totally. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoy them tonight because um, they come few and far between. Hi, Caitlin, Ashley. Yeah. Anybody who's been here for a while but you haven't said hi, just say hi yeah. really quick. Who's here? Hi. All right, so MJ Garner, MJ, one, two, three. I saw Garner I mean, hi. earlier. Okay, good yeah. Good night, good morning. Hi, and good night, yeah. Hi. Good night. Okay. Okay, all right, so are we going now? Oh, 89. Okay. Patty Jean good. says good night, good all night. Right. All right. Um, let's see, step right on up. The third eye journey. Good night, the third eye. All right, this eye. is fun. Good night, everyone. See you guys next week at 8 o'clock. <laughs> or thereabouts, 8.03. Yes, sales. <laughs> says hello lady florian before you go what was your first reaction when you saw your son at graduation um with his um army the army graduation pride i was just so happy um i've been through so many because i have three kids and spencer he's graduated you know elementary we've done um junior high and we've done high school and he graduated college um went to university of connecticut but this meant the most to him it's something that he went after like kids go to high school everybody goes to high school and then you you know you pretty much go to college if you stick to script but this was something that even though he graduated college this is something that he did on his own and he was the proudest of this so which therefore made me the proudest of this and when he Good night, Ray. went through Gary. um so many injuries he broke his pelvic muscle and his ankle and i mean he broke so many bones and most men would have gotten out for those reasons but he stuck there for um even throughout the injuries so um i was just very proud of his strength and so, it was dope if you saw the first vlog when they came out through all that smoke yeah like, that was a family day that yeah, to me i was in awe like yeah. the way they threw them bomb things and the, yeah. the smoke came out and they walked through that was so intense and i love the music who saw so that like cool. to me like it just, it just sends like chills through you that was like the best part of like family day it like, was like chilling. i was shocked it was so when cool. i saw that smoke and then they all walked through all those soldiers like that that was the coolest to me i never saw anything cooler um, who saw that who liked that part Anybody yeah, down here. we weren't expecting. They played the music. They came out. They ran. Yeah. It. I'm like they walked through that smoke. So cool. So cool. Hide the smoke. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was cool. Okay. All right. We're still saying good night. All right. <laughs> I had a mom moment. Okay. Um. Good night, Miss Aim J LLC. Okay, Miss SET saying her good nights to people as they come through. <laughs> Miss SET, she the one holding the door open to yeah. let people walk through. Good guys again to Spencer. Good night, ladies. Good night, baby, Miss AMJ LLC. <laughs> okay. Sal, Sal 3S3. Yeah. Thumbs up. Um, so she said good night as well. Good night. Uh, Denisha uh, Bessard, good night. All right. And happy birthday to you early. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, hopefully we'll we'll go live on our birthday oh, and Angela. say hi to you guys. Marcy Kibbit, okay. Yeah. Love to you both. Thank you. Okay, so there's Ivy and Miss SCT. I didn't miss No, Miss SCT, no more questions. <laughs> yeah, Miss Smith, good we're, night. But we actually are going to watch. We're going to go watch My Strange Addiction. We're going to watch that. Um, that's what she thinks. No, we're not watching We're going to be watching craziness. that. Craziness. Okay. Um, that, that pedophile in the... In the no, in I want to see the one that eats bricks. I can't. 
Okay, it's too close to what Bye, I Bye, Tanzania. <laughs> thanks for coming. Kay Pagan, thanks for coming. All right, I have to think what I'm going to watch tonight. I have to think, I have to think. All right. All right, there's still 78 people here. Okay. I'm giving you all till 12.10, five <laughs> minutes. That's the one like that eats couches? <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> I have, to, I have to watch the replay. I have to keep refreshing. Oh, really? The replay is that bad? Okay. This was. Thanks for coming, Trey Trey. Can I call you Trey? Oh, wait. Is it Val uh, Toussaint? Is that a yep. new one? Good night to you from, from the UK. UK. Okay. Corinne says good night. All right. Plant based three. Good night. Okay. Good night. Did miss, oh, that's SET. Oh, no, no. Smith Ivy said good night. Good night, Smith Ivy. See, plant based food is at the uh, the stores come off super innocent. innocent. Oh, okay. thank you, thank God. Okay, Jay, good night. People are thinking who on the macro store whose whose house we're not going to. Like <laughs> Jay's not coming to my house. Okay, so Miss Essie says it comes on TLC. Comments freeze for some reason. Yeah, they do, or they don't keep up with the because um, when we watch the replay sometimes, when we were trying to watch the one where Taylor was afraid of that bug, we kept good night, Nikki Smith. Comments didn't match up with the, yeah, with the it was video. So weird. But you know, if you watch it like right after this. Give it like a few days almost. It has to all catch up and, and sort itself out. Yeah, like some hours. Yeah. Yeah. If you do it right away, it doesn't match up. But um, YouTube said don't like contact them unless it's been like, what, basically like three or four days. Yeah. Yeah, let it sort itself out. Sometimes it takes that long. And especially ours because they're like four hours. Nikki Smith can't wait for the meet and greet. When's the meet and greet? <laughs> <laughs> Nikki Smith, where are you from? Are you from New York? Also, okay, just call up just Trey. Just call him Trey. Okay. okay. Yeah, the red blankets. <laughs> can't watch that kind of show. I can't. Watch the week later. So messes up. I don't know why YouTube is. Yeah, YouTube is just bugging. All right, but so, not everybody oh, does DC. like replay. Just from DC. Because okay. um, I don't really know how to catch lives with other channels. Um, sometimes I do, but um, they just shut it down. Like once it's over, it's over. They never like do the replay. Maybe they're not meant to be replayed. I don't know. Mm. Good night, Sean. But four hours probably is a long replay. Maybe it acts because I know sometimes. Good night, Denisha. There'll be chunks of it missing, so I don't know how it how it yeah, does it, that. Yeah, like skips. Yeah. Okay, you said, gee, hey, I didn't say goodnight. I'm still in my death. All right, we have three minutes, y'all. Okay. I'll start packing up that food, putting the lids on that ice. <laughs> I watched a week later and it's still messed up. Yeah, um, we're going to jump up. I think it's the length. Maybe they're too long. Yes. I'll be glad we can spot all these mats. I know, I all can. these mats. All right, so like, I'm, I'm making a, a, a decision next week. Like, you have to leave the kitchen. I'm, like, leaving this area. Okay, we have to find a new area. Yeah, because I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's like a lasso. Right. <laughs> a lasso these nets. I'm going to my ice because the whole ice thing will go to pot. I can't. It's been just sitting here baking all night. I just have to add. It's the lights. Yeah, totally. We have a giant like chandelier here. Totally. And some just like hit the light and fall because these lights are hot. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, two minutes. Two minutes, y'all. Get your good nights in. Iris Flowers, we're gonna go see your work. We want a Mac Curls cartoon. We do. Totally. We totally do. And we're trying to like figure out our Mac Curls. We like, need we'll, a logo. We want <laughs> the, like, the Nat Whipper. <laughs> yeah, we want the distinction like in a cartoon like of me and you. The, the distinction of the hair length. Um, like some people can just pop out a logo. Like we're really taking our time with it because we. It's gonna be like what. It's gonna be our Mac Curls logo. And yeah. so like we we have a vision, but we just need someone to bring it to life. And we don't we'll know. know it when we see it. We'll know it when we see it. <laughs> when we see our macros. If you logo. guys, like, I want something child. Like, if anybody has any kids with any sort of talent or, or lack thereof, even the lack of talent is cute. I love childlike drawings. And I just think a childlike drawing of me and you, with somebody's interpretation of um, mm -hmm. what we look like when we did um, Bible camp one summer, the way they would draw us, it was so funny. My curly hair, your curly hair. Um, our dresses, you yeah. know, like triangle. Just kids' drawings are so yeah. cute. We don't want just anything. Like we'll know it. Yeah. When we see, it, we'll be like, yes. So they have our email address. Anybody has any cute kids' drawings, or oh, we got people anything. with gra graphic designs. Because we were like, how does that work as far as graphic designers go? Like, because what if they do something and we don't like it, but they did all the work? Like, how do we see? 
like you know like we do like, so we haven't like we we know people that draw we don't really know how to go about doing this because we're like what if they do something and we don't like it but they just did the work but we want to see what they can do and like i don't know we don't really know how this works but yeah. we know we want a mad girls logo of some sort yeah definitely of um, our like likeness is our um email in the uh um, yeah all right so anybody have any sort of talent or any ideas um Please just email us and we'll get in touch with you. Definitely. But yeah, that just really drew our attention tonight. Iris Flowers. Mm -hmm. That was just really cute. It's almost like, like I love the little pink polka dot background. That's a cute little um, microfiber towel. Yeah. It's, it's just really cute. Yeah. I don't think it's a microfiber uh, towel. What is it? I think it's two little puff balls. It's like space buns. Oh, it looks like a microfiber towel to be able to blow. It's a little bit turquoise one I have. I can't see because it's so small. So a good graphic designer will keep changing it until you're satisfied. Okay. Okay. All right. So with, um, you can have them send it to you in stages. Okay. Um, with uh, the new um, oh wait, it is a microfiber towel or it is space buns. It's space buns, right? Is it? So Miss Sct said that uh, the Sultanical video thought seemed to make your hair look longer. So they said, um, who said it tonight? Oh, thank, thank you, Denise Bessar. She said, okay, my backpack is on. I'm leaving great class tonight. <laughs> Good night. I know it is like class. It's so funny. So right. Adamar said, my hair, um, since it's been cut, seems to have grown. Um, and I and I, believe, I think so. I really do think. Maybe it's all that heat humidity in the South. Yeah. I definitely think it's grown. Find an artist who does a caricature, caricature drawing. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Miss Set. Um, if he's dope, but he's not a kid, but he has childlike, um, like that ability to make it look childlike. I like just like the innocence, like the childlikeness of it, like a cartoon. I think it's yeah. basically what I'm saying. Yeah, like we don't want anything too serious because like we're not no. serious at all, clearly. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, it's twelve twelve. Listen, we're not doing this, y'all. Okay. It's bedtime. Okay. All right. So you know the email. It's MacGirls at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll do this next week. Next Friday. Or actually, we'll probably see you guys before then because um, our yeah. birthday is Tuesday. Yes. Maybe we'll sit here and eat a piece of cake with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch us stuff our face. You can watch us eat a cupcake. Okay. <laughs> we'll have the, the birthday Taylor tales. Yes. <laughs> yes, your five-year-old birthday party. And I was also grateful. So grateful. So, so, grateful. Much, so much grateful. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. In all the years we shared our birthday together. Right? Yeah. All right. And people can't believe like we have a channel together. We're so close and we share a birthday. Like it's just like, wow. Like it's, it's like, like they don't believe it sometimes. It's like, no way. Like, yes. Yeah. It's true. All right. So, yes. DM us on Instagram with logo designs too. Um, Instagram, email. We would, like, like, we would love to see what, what the lettering we want. Like, to like the letter has to be right, the, the faces, we want like the distinction of the hair leg, the slight distinction of the complexions a little bit, I'm a little fairer than you, we want like those distinctions. So, yeah. so people know like, you know, it's us. And like, you know how people, they have like the logo, but then they have like the word logo as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're kind of looking for both. I don't know, we're, we have, we, we don't know. We Maybe we'll, like, we'll, we'll know what we're looking for definitively if we see something that yeah. we like. Like, like yes, this it. is something like we like, can you, yeah. Can we do this or tweak that or do whatever? Like, yeah. Yeah. Mother daughter cake smash. Hardly. <laughs> <laughs> Can I feed you some cake? I, um, on a fork? It's not a wedding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play with food. <laughs> I like I would be like just such a stuffy, just like a miserable bride. I don't do that. I don't know why they that they do that. Just take a cake and a beautiful bride to smash it. I would be living. Big nose husband doing that to you on your wedding day. That was We were off. thinking of that domino effect. She said Mad Curls logo contest. We were thinking about that. Yeah, we definitely thought about that. Yeah, we were thinking about like the um the legal things and like all that kind of stuff that would like go into that, but we were we were totally thinking about that. We're like cuz it's almost like, you know, like Princess Diana was like the, the princess for the people. We're like, you know, we feel like our channel's kind of like, like you guys people. are like fam. Like it's not like fans, it's fam. So like it's a people's channel, so like we'd love to have our logo made by the people, some like a person, like this you know, SET, that watches us. Are you laughing because I said Big Mill's husband smashed a cake on my beautiful daughter's face on her wedding day? I don't like the smashing cake thing. Oh yeah, no, that's not going down mm -hmm. at all. I, I swear. Like, seriously, like, get a no. fork, cut the piece, and just like you know, open up your mouth. But for him to take it and just smash it and just smear it all, all talk about. I 
kind of crap again. I would not like that. I would be absolutely livid. It's so unnecessary. It's just like just starting. I just just, just I would see just haterism, just jealousy. Like, why would you ruin my beautiful daughter's wedding? Like, what is that about? How juvenile are you? Like, we didn't pick that. Yeah, Miss Miss, as he said, as he teased, a celebrity wedding planner tells her clients, "No cake smashing. It's a sign of disrespect. It's a bad omen. It totally is. It's so disrespectful. Like, you're gonna put cake and." frosting in my lashes and my makeup and on my dress and like no that's not funny wow. at all I don't and then when you funny. tell them i hate when like you see the woman going like this um like he's going to do it and she's kind of like leaning back and then like they just like shove it in yeah. like and she's like no she's trying to like be cool about it she's like no like laughing or whatever and then he just he's determined to disrespect her in front of everybody and it's just disgusting to me no. i just don't think that's cute nice respectful husband material I would be nobody could calm me down. They would be like, it's not that big. I'm like, it's a huge deal to me. It would be. I would. You couldn't get me to shut up about it. Um. All right. So those people are saying like they'd love to do our logo. Like we'd love to see what you guys could do mm -hmm. or whatever. Because like we we have an idea, but we we don't really know. Like what we said, we kind of want it to be cartoonish. You know, light fun. Because you know, wow. a distinction between us. And we totally are looking for a <laughs> logo, and we'd love it to be made. Yeah. Uh, I have to have all our um. And she's, a live guess, and to she's like, right, it's day. not cute. And y'all will see a fight that night. And this SCT said, yes, I'll show my face when they arrest me. I'm right, exactly. <laughs> Don't dip down. Hold your yeah, head up. Like, Taylor will be at the altar in her gad, and I'd have all my um, the, the macros live. I'd have it all lined up there. Miss SCT would be me, be Samantha Ivy, would be Angela. Would be, who else would be joining me? So we would be, we'd be ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having it. <laughs> Angel Marcinka Fed said she warned her husband not to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Women fight <laughs> with her husband over cake smashing. Yeah, no. Yeah. I would tell um my husband in advance, like, don't do that. Yeah. Like don't like don't do it at all. Don't think you're being funny mm -mm. or I'm gonna get over it because I'm not. Like, no, don't do that. It's not funny. So that like desired colors, um, uh, maybe a reference image. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we ask questions through email? Absolutely, sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Email us. So our email is um, it's all over on our page, but I'll just type it in here for now. Gmail.com. That's our email. Okay, so this is how I disrobe. I know, right? <laughs> I'm gonna start taking off my earrings. Like we're slowly just. Why are we still here? We said good night. <laughs> Am I get upstairs? It's just pajamas in his bed. I know. So I have to bring all this Sultanicals junk upstairs. Oh my gosh. This candy. Put the stuff in the refrigerator. Wow. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. We, we love y'all so fun. much. Yeah. This was fun. Oh my gosh. We like. Fun. It's almost twelve thirty. We never know what direction it's gonna go in. We don't. But. Like we start off with no energy. There's 67 real people in the room right now, just hanging out. <laughs> Watching me take off my errands. Don't right. worry, guys. It ain't gonna get much further than this. Where I was like, how much further are you gonna go? Now we're gonna take off the bracelet. <laughs> Should I start unclasping? I'm not popping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to sleep now. Okay. We don't have anything to do tomorrow, do we? Um, oh, no, you said you, you might buy a yellow outfit. I can buy a yellow outfit. You said that's what you want. Um, wait, we were going to do a talk to you or something. We were, we were going to try to I know, we did good. I just don't want to be good. woken up early. I just want to sleep. Right. I, I want to. I'm not even you up some wine. Why are you so mean to me? I know. It's, it's that time that we get squeaky, boys. I know. You okay. go your way and I'll go another way. Okay. All right. So, no, it's been fun. All right, so, all right. That's it. Okay. Right. Uh, 15 minutes ago, I never got a send off. That's why I'm still here. Jen loves Ooh. nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jen loves nail polish. Thanks uh, for part two and part one. I felt bad that people like were over there Good waiting night. at part one and then realized that like we yeah, had I had to write in the comments. I'm like, you know, we we moved. I don't know but why it grew this is quickly still rolling. because yeah. it started at 15. And then all of a sudden it was like at 61, and then I didn't watch it after that, um, how quickly it grew. I need to make my round, well, we need to make our rounds, because you get free drinks at Starbucks on your birthday. Um, Denny's. You get de Denny's, yeah. De <laughs> so breakfast at Denny's, then we'll get some coffee afterward, and then we'll go to Ulta for our free presents. And then we'll go to get free ice cream cone. Yo, we need to Google. Oh, right, Ulta. Last year they gave a nice, nice palette. palette. 
never used we it. We never but just used it. it. It was a beautiful palette, it though. Really it had was. like Let's see two, four, six, eight. I think it had like ten or ten eyeshadows in it. It was nice. Yeah, it, it was, was a nice sturdy black palette. It was nice. Yeah, it was and really then palette. Sephora gave us this ugly blush, this tart blush, which didn't even show up on our face. It was horrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. free lip gloss from Bare Minerals. Um, it was a horrible lipstick. Um, from. Sephora. Yeah, Sephora's gifts weren't that great. Yep, Dunkin' Donuts free drink. Oh, really? Yeah, the body shop gives gifts too. Yeah, we got. And nobody believes that's the fun that we, we have. have. Nobody believes it. That um, it's your birthday and my birthday. Yep. It, they don't. So that's the fun that we have. We do. All right. So I have had some free pancakes. Always oh, I have lit. the whole day. I have. I have. They said that. Well, did we find out whether that was true or not? No, it was a joke. It was promotion for the new burgers that they put on their menu, but they weren't changing it. Wow. So they really did put burgers on their menu. They put burgers on their menu, but they weren't changing it to International House of Burgers. For burgers. <laughs> yeah, so your birthday month, um, you can go in, I believe, to Ulta, and um, that you can get your free gift, like, anytime during the month, during the birthday month. Ms. Ezzy T, are you um, signed up at Ulta? Because we signed up, I mean, you probably could sign up, like, that day. Um, and then they reached in the back, but yeah, it was quality, um, pal, it was really nice. It was, nice. It was, was it by NYX or it looked like NYX? It was NYX. Right? It was, yeah, it was, it was nice. NYX. It said happy birthday on it. Yeah. It was cute. Yeah. It was nice. And it had like warm And colors. I think the year before that, it was an Urban Decay eyeshadow. It was like one eyeshadow. Yeah, it was Cowboy, so I think it was called. Midnight Cowboy. Yeah. So then like the next year for them to give us a whole palette, like it was nice. I like Urban Decay eyeshadows though, but, um, but that was just like flimsy compared to the next year. Yeah. I wonder what they're doing this year. The new eyeshadow pop they came out with, um, on the is it on the run? That I had to do what I'm bragging for so I didn't get kicked off the PR list. <laughs> was, um, is a nice palette. I've been using that a lot. The uh, the, the new Urban Decay one. Okay. That's a good palette. We do, nice. Anybody see Taylor doing the unbragging? Thank you, Urban Decay. Yeah, and then somebody came in and and, and said that and they said in Lorianne's voice. In Lorianne's voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it orgasm? Plant based foodie. So this year I got a Nars blush from Sephora. It's always that one. It's always, it's that, always one. that one. And like it's not even like the most popular color anymore, right? Like Oh, um, domino effect, I agree. What's that? She said she wished five guys gave free burgers and fries. Yeah. Five guys burgers would change your life. They have reinvented and reinvented and reinvented and reinvented that whole orgasm line um for NARS like over and over. They have made nail polish and they have made lip gloss and they made blush and um highlighter now. I mean, um that color used to be everything. It used though. to be absolutely everything, and it's just very really pink now. And um, there's just so many other. It was it was colors. the Nars Orgasm Blush with the Mac Smolder Eye Pencil. <laughs> that was my like high school look. It was wow. always that. Yeah, but they just keep trying to reinvent, like move on. They put it in with Laguna. They put it in with Casino. They just put it in with. Every, they just keep trying to reinvent that. It's like we got it. Like nobody wants it. Nobody likes it. So move on. Alright guys, I'm yeah, gonna um, like pass out. Wi Fi right Adam loves Five Guys. I think when we were in the South we went to um Five Guys every night for Adam, right? We did. Five Guys is expensive though. Yeah. Yeah, Adam had to have five guys, and then he dragged Spencer over there to have five guys. And Spencer was like, before he went back to the I was base, down there was eating like all the authentic southern food, like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And like the, the iced tea. Oh my gosh. The iced tea down this there, is, no this matter. There's my iced tea cup in that place. Like, oh my gosh. Like God. sweet tea. You don't even have to add sugar to it. It's just you don't. perfect down there every time. Yeah. It's just so good. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. We're hanging up. Oh, we're hanging up. We're hanging up. We're hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, get your glass goodbyes in. We're going to sleep. Okay. I'll leave you. I live next to one. Oh my gosh, okay. you totally have to go. It's good. At least one time. I was happy I went like one time. You've not smolder. gone more than that now, but it's good. My spooky eyes the best. It's so smolder does does that um smolder used to? That's the time I told Tilda just look at you crying as a great big fourteen year old. I said your eyes is running. Smolder to me before you can even put it on starts that running and that smearing does it smear for you like that i mean your eyes are just like heavy and it would with... like always crease right here yeah and crease right here does it crease for you um it's set because there's other black pencils by mac right mm -hmm. but smolder that one was that one's true she said not hers okay no? okay Oh, Evangeline, we're trying to leave, girl. 
Or right, mama, you're gonna have to press the button, mama. Okay. I'm like, I'm the bad guy. You're gonna have to carry me up the stairs. And I'm, I have a Waffle House here. Okay, yeah, the Waffle House. I did find out that they do make chicken and waffles, um, but they told me that they didn't. Okay, all right. I'm the bad guy tonight. I'm clicking y'all off. We'll see you next. Oh no, we're not gonna see you next Friday. We're gonna see them tonight, right? Yeah, we'll see you guys sooner than next Friday yes. because of our birthday. So keep a lookout for us on Tuesday. And so you I gotta guess we'll be ready, so you have to get ready. Hopefully, I'll have my yellow outfit on. 